All right, guys, jumping into the afternoon Taco Tuesday video here for Prize Pick. As you will see, have a new video background while the old video background back. You want to know it, but I literally just flipped the setup that I had. Okay, I'll show you guys here real quick, actually. Boom! And that's what I was doing in between videos. Okay, so uh, I haven't had as much time as I typically would to study everything in between videos. Just full disclosure there. So I'm going to be relying on the nine to five cheat sheet tool a little bit more heavily than I typically would be. Um, let's actually start with the WNBA prop since that is going to be the taco. Okay. So we have Alyssa Thomas for over 28.5 points, rebounds, and assists. So let's just start by WNBA to start. And of course, you know, um, the line that we have out there on Vegas is about 32.5 for points, rebounds, and assists. So they're kind of lying about the line here. Um, still should be a good one. I mean, that's four. That's a big old difference there. So yeah, we're going to be taking that one. And as we can see, has been over this uh, five straight times. So I guess the worry here would be this little one right here. Uh, let's go ahead and just take a look at this game as well, just to see if there's any flaws to it. Okay, so looking at it, this game does have a slight potential for it to be a blowout. And which team is she on? Okay, okay, good. The team that's favored to win. Slight worry there that if it was the team that was going to be blown out, maybe the minutes are a little bit reduced. If the game is a blowout, you do expect her to be part of the reason as to why the game would be a blowout. Okay. But the game that we want to be attacking here is this Atlanta versus Dallas game. I mean, that is a very high scoring game and a close spread. Like typically speaking in NBA DFS, when we have a high scoring game, that's also a close spread. We want to find ways to maybe go about using a stack in that game. I don't know enough about WNBA to really go about doing that. Um, it, but if you guys do, I know someone in the comments from the earlier videos, all like, Oh, I've actually kind of been crushing in WNBA. Let us know, guys. I always mention the best thing about prize picks, underdog, this props related stuff compared to my other content, DFS related, is that we're not playing against each other. We are playing against the product. We're playing against prize picks, underdog, or, you know, whatever the sports book is. So we can all help each other and there's no, not going to be anything wrong with that. You know, it's great. That's why I love about kind of this community and this content. So yes, if you, if you guys have one, let us know. But unfortunately, like literally the best prop bets that we have still are going to be maybe the under bets. Okay. We look at Agumba Wale, Dill, 54.4% chance for that one to hit. Uh, the assist for under 4.5. The worry that I have with that one is that literally projected to get over. Don't love that. And then we got another one here. Um, Gray, slightly projected to get less than 19.5 points. That's probably uh, the best one that we have going the the worry there is that once again that was that game that we kind of wanted to be attacking because it could be a high scoring game right that's the worry is that probably the best prop that we have on paper given how vegas thinks the game is going to go probably not correlating too well let's just see the other points props that we are getting yeah gray is the highest scorer then so don't love that and we are still getting this rebound prop it's not as good as it was earlier today but still a push at 11.5 uh projection get 13 so still a pretty good one that we are getting WNBA wise there uh but that's kind of it let's see if we have any underdog uh prize picks differences that we can attack potentially no not, not nothing too crazy we can see rebounds here yeah that's probably just the one that we're going with if we are choosing to uh target one that's probably it because vegas has it higher underdog has it higher she's also projected to get 13 so that's probably the best one that we're gonna get. now let's go ahead and get into some mlb based prop all right so looking at mlb the board is not as tight as it was this morning but still kind of tight okay so looking at right now like this is a decent one minus 130 about a 53 percent chance to hit um hits runs rbis 1.5 is the prize picks line and the vegas line uh, the projection is 1.9 so not a terrible one there uh, we got Crawford, who actually was a pretty nice bet this morning for pitcher strikeout for over 4.5. They have since bumped that. Um, you could go over walks allowed, though. Uh, J.D. Davis, also a decent one. Like, we just have some decent ones. If you guys like any of these ones, if any of these ones are standing out to you, maybe Will Smith for over hits, runs, RBIs. About a 53% chance for that one to hit. Uh, 5.25 to be exact, but it's projected to get 2.2. Like, you could roll with that one. Here's another pretty good one. Uh, Buxton for over 1.5 hits, runs, RBIs. That's a Another pretty solid one there uh, projected to get 2.59. That's a big prop line difference there. So, uh, you know, some decent ones there. Let's go ahead and take a peek at pitcher uh, fantasy score. See if we are getting any good ones there. I don't think we are. I think it's about the same. I don't think the Vegas lines have changed that much and they haven't. Okay. So probably just staying away from those. Heck, you could potentially run 
this one out. Garrett Cole for under fantasy score. 41.5 is it. He's projected to get 38.23. If you look at the Vegas line, this would suggest that he's not going to get a quality start or a win. Obviously, if he gets a win, it's a lot tighter there. And if he gets a win, he probably gets a quality start. So that's really what this is telling us. And then I did find it funny. Probably one of the unfortunate things is the the Tyler Glass now pitcher strikeout taco from earlier today. I saw this pop up where his pitcher fantasy score is not exactly popping as much as we would want. So the prize picks line has it set at 37.5. He, the Vegas line projection has him set at 33 and the projections have him set at 31. So if you guys are someone that likes to hedge a little bit, obviously you already bet the over pitcher strikeouts for him. Well, then you could bet the under fantasy score for him a little bit of a hedge there. I don't suggest doing that. I don't like doing that. Uh, so looking at it, the best hitting base prop that we have is going to be Bryce Harper. Okay. The price picks line has it set at six. The average Vegas line has it set at 8.45. The projections have him set at 9.25. I want to call this out though the under is kind of heavily favored so maybe the vegas line would be closer to, to about seven or so uh but either way we are still getting an edge there that is looking like the best prop that we're going to get today um julio rodriguez not a terrible one then it gets tighter uh something like trey turner has been playing extremely well lately so i don't mind him but let's just take a look at uh vegas here are there any games that are supposed to be high scoring? And that's the issue today is that we really only have this Rockies versus Cincinnati game that's supposed to be high scoring. All the other ones are pretty um, low scoring. I think that's the biggest issue that we are having today. And if we look at it, they are kind of smart about how they're going about this. Like we only have two Cincinnati props that we would probably feel comfortable betting the over. I don't mind rolling with um, Jonathan here. If you want to bet the over fantasy score, you could, but I'm probably staying away from uh, De La Cruz. And then this is kind of crazy. We are actually getting a decent amount of under props that are popping up as something we could go about attacking. Atone actually got worse today. So um, if you want to bet the under form, you can. Uh, let's take a peek at that Philly game just to make sure as well. Uh, kind of low scoring, 8.5. Uh, not exactly in the like really stay away range of seven and a half, but a little bit of a worry there. Good pitcher as well. I think that's the biggest reason why. Like if you think Atone is going to get his over uh, hitter fantasy score, if you don't like this prop, then you're probably betting the under fantasy score for Spencer Strider. Okay, that would be the, the correlation there. So now let's go ahead and get into the best of the day. Remember, we are going to be pairing these tacos up, or sorry, these picks up with this taco that we have available because obviously we're going to be betting the over for the taco. And then for what it's worth, I do want to call this one as well. George Kirby for over possibly 5.5 strikeouts. Prize picks has a set of 5.5. The average sportsbook line has a set of 5.36, but they're favoring the over at about minus 154. So if you take that into consideration, this prop has about a 50 percent chance to hit but i do want to call it that underdog has already bumped it up to six so there is the potential that prize picks might end up bumping it too before lineup lock so maybe a decent bet that we have there i am struggling to close out the slip i'm hoping that we get a better bet by the time i finish the tail end of this uh betting slip but here's what we are going to be looking at for uh the afternoon tacos bet of the day that i would be including in there um like I would say like these two that we have here, I'm only making really at the end of the taco going live. So I'll, I'll place these four bets in there. I feel fine about placing these four bets. And then I'm going to kind of take the wait and see approach for the fifth prop bet that I want to go about attacking. And if you guys are confused by that, what I like to do is I like to bet the taco five individual times. That way we only need to hit two of them to have a profitable uh, slip with that taco if that makes sense, um, as long as the taco hits. And we only need to hit five on the day to break even. Five bets on the day with the three tacos. Typically speaking, that's pretty easy to do. And typically speaking, it's promotion money there, okay? So that's gonna be it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the coverage. If you did, make sure to give a like and subscribe. That does help with the channel. Let's have a good slate. And as always, let's keep cashing.